What's going on guys, BriceCrispy94 here, bringing you another mini painting video. This time we are going to be doing none other than a bugbear. Uh, this is a bugbear, 3D printed from Yashi... Oh, I can never say it, pronounce it. Yasha... Yash... Once I finish this intro, I will go look up how to do it, say his name, and I'll tell you guys in the end. The link to the My Mini Factory page will be down below. Uh, very awesome creator. Uh, all of his objects are free. If you want a supported version, then you can pay for it. This is one of the free objects I supported myself. Uh, I have purchased several, though, to support him because he does amazing work. I mean, just look how detailed this thing is. Just now realizing that might be a support. Nope. I don't know what it is. Just a spike. Um, but yeah, he's got the little skulls and a hand down here. Uh, the fur is nice. Um, I accidentally broke the flail up here, which is why that's a different color, because I had to reprime after I glued it back together. So yeah. <laughs> but yes, uh, the link to Yashi's mini factory page will be in the description below go check him out if you have a 3d printer he is great um i've printed this i've printed i don't have anything close by that's his but uh you'll be seeing a lot more of them on the channel because they are fantastic work uh so for the bugbear the main color will be <gasps> bugbear brown that's right um so then for the chest i'm going to do a little bit lighter of a skin tone and we're going to go with uh, Bugbear Brown plus some rosy skin to kind of bring that down. Uh, most of the metal on his body will be done in a Army Painter uh, gunmetal. For the leathers on his army, I'm going with a Wraith Black. The wood on the handle of his weapon is going to be Minotaur Hide. His face is going to be Ruddy Skin, because they have a little bit lighter of a face. Um, for right now, it's like ruddy skin, unless I see how this looks, and then I might go ahead and do that for his face as well. Um, the hand, or ah, sorry, the skulls and his teeth will be done in skeleton bone. The hand on his back will be done in zombie flesh. His eyes will be a nice fire newt orange. It's like my favorite color for eyes. And then flump pink for the mouth. Um, and I didn't pay attention. He does have claws. So I will probably go in there with some uh, either Wraith Black or Abyss Black, depending, and do the claws. And then the bottom is just going to be black because it's just a, a standard base, nothing fancy down there. So yeah, I'll probably get the Abyss Black out to do the claws and the base. So yeah. Let's get to painting.
there you have it guys the bugbear is complete now before i show it off on the camera i butchered their name before but shout out to yasashi koyojin studio on my miniature factory sorry my mini factory uh this is where i got the lovely bugbear print as well as some other um 3d prints that i've done i actually did a couple today uh, you may have heard it in the background of a couple of videos. The 3D printer is a little loud, and it takes a while, so I have to kind of, you know, sacrifice to get some content out to you guys. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and look at this beautiful little bugbear. So a few things I changed from initial design. Um, this little silver thing, or metal thing, metal circle on the belt there i went ahead and made that a different color from the rest of the metal i also went ahead it's kind of hard to see let me bring the light down there we go also did the metal spikes on the armor in a different metal um the face and then the belly area i did do the i did not use the was it rosy skin or the ruddy skin i did do a combination of the rosy skin and the bugbear brown to get those colors and i really love how that turned out um the washes made him a little darker and that's exactly what i was going for with those washes my face is so dark i just now noticed that let me see if i can turn that on and it's gonna glare a little bit but he's gonna be better for the camera that's really all I care about. Um, so, I will say, I had some technical difficulties. Uh, first of all, prior to painting him, I broke the mace. During the painting, I had to pause and cut because I actually broke him off the base I have him glued to. Then, when trying to get him back on the glue base, I broke the mace again. And then, right before I was doing the wash, I picked him up, forgetting that I had just sat him on this with no sticky tack to hold him to the paint handle. And he fell and broke the mace for a third time. So, the mace does get a little chunky right there. That is not part of the actual print. The design is amazing. Uh, that is my own fault. Uh, the handle turned out well. The metal turned out well. Um, yeah, I really love how this bugbear turned out. I'm actually wanting to print some more bugbears and make like a little bugbear clan now. Um, although he only has the one bugbear design on his thing, so I'll have to go elsewhere. Probably get some Nolzer's bugbears. I think they have a couple. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Again, shout out to Yasashi. Koyajin Studio. Yes, I'm reading it because I would never remember that. Um, and his or their awesome work. Uh, their link will be in the down there below. Again, all minis are actually free, but they're unsupported. But you can pay for the sports. Um, sports are worth it, definitely. Uh, supporting minis on a 3D printer kind of sucks. <laughs> all right, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.